So guys, now I will discuss the mnemonic for classification of odontogenic tumor. I will be starting a series for every odontogenic tumors. So the very first is the classification. I will give you the simple mnemonics. It is based on the 2017 classification. Right. So broadly we can divide our tumors as benign tumors and malignant tumors. Right. Both of them, both of them, benign tumors could be from epithelial origin, benign or malignant tumor could be from connective tissue or the mesenchymal origin, or they could be mixed, right? It could be from ectoderma, basically the epithelial and the connective tissue origin. So, what are all the epithelial origin? It's very simple, you just have to remember for the epithelial origin, you just have to remember, ask. Right, just ask what come from A is amyloblastomas, all amyloblastomas, cystic, yeah, unicystic, or all, all, all of its variant are even the malignant amyloblastoma is a part of benign, no, the malignant metastatic amyloblastoma actually. Right, so next is. Adenomatoid odontogenic tumor. Okay, what what is from S? S is squamous squamous odontogenic tumor, and C is your C E O T calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor, also known as C E O T. Very simple in epithelial origin, four tumors, right? And in connective tissue, in connective tissue, we have main three kind of same. We just have to remember C O C. Very simple C O C. C is cemento ossifying fibroma. O is odontogenic fibroma and odontogenic fibromyxoma and the last one this is your cementoblastoma cementoblastoma in your mixed tumor, we have four tumors, we have four main tumors, which are D, O, P, A, DOPA. What is DOPA? Dentinogenic, Gossel tumor, O is odontoma, odontoma, both complex and compound, P is your primordial odontogenic tumor and age stick for fibroma see in your epithelial origin your all amyloblastomas sot and coc right in your connective tissue they are going to be your fibroma or myxomas basically your fibromas and myxomas in your mixed they are from epithelial as well as connective tissue origin something like amyloblastic fibroma fibroma is mesenchymal but amyloblastic are mostly epithelial origin same right now for uh, malignant tumors they are also very easy malignant tumors are very simple for epithelial origin you just have to remember clear gas clear gas Right, clear is clear. Remember, in malignant, all epithelial are your carcinomas, all connective tissue origin are your fibrosarcomas or sarcomas, and in your mix, they are going to be carcinosarcomas. Right, epithelial, epithelial malignant is 
carcinoma. From G is your ghost cell odontogenic carcinoma. Ghost cell odontogenic carcinoma. From A is your all A are amyloblastic, right? This A is amyloblastoma, this A is amyloblastic fibroma, this A is amyloblastic carcinoma. In also next we will have a A which is amyloblastic fibrosarcoma. Either S is sclerizing odontogenic with S is your sclerizing odontogenic carcinoma. Connected to so mesen chymal we just have one which is amyloblastic fibrosarcoma expected all A remember all A in any in classification is your amyloblastic and the last is very easy it is also O odontogenic odontogenic carcinosarcoma so it's very easy to remember you just have to follow the pattern in epithelial origin benigns are going to be omas in your epithelial or your benigns are going to be omas or tumor right and your and your malignant are going to be carcinoma simple in your connective tissue or mesen chymal origin your benigns are going to be fibroma in your malignant they are going to be fibrosarcoma in mixed your benigns are going to be omas or tumor and your malignant is going to be carcinosarcoma simple right so this is your classification and now from the next class we will discuss each of the tumors in detail okay have a good day thank you very much